What will happen to your body if you do cardio workouts every day? Cardio training strengthens the body and helps get rid of fat. Cardio workout restores and maintains the health of the heart and blood vessels, increases endurance, and normalizes metabolism. In this video, I'll tell you what cardio training is, how it affects the general condition of the body, when and how to do it. So, watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Cardio training is a type of physical activity in which the heart works in a rapid mode, and subcutaneous fat and glycogen act as energy sources. Such loads have a positive effect on the functioning of organs, strengthen blood vessels, develop the respiratory system, increase endurance, and help to lose weight. At the same time, increased heart rate values are a necessary condition for efficiency of training. Exercise accelerates the heart muscle to the desired number of contractions, in which the body activates metabolism and biochemical processes. Keeping the heart rate within the specified limits for 30 to 60 minutes ensures a high-quality training result. However, exceeding the specified limits is dangerous for health. Therefore, during exercise, constant monitoring of these parameters is necessary. What are the benefits of cardio training? In addition to burning calories and increasing endurance, cardio exercises ventilate the lungs and saturate body cells with oxygen, train the heart muscle, reducing the risk of heart attack, prevent atherosclerosis, hypertension, and diabetes, speed up metabolism, normalize hormonal levels and improve skin condition, reduce bad cholesterol, strengthen bone tissue and contribute to the production of endorphins, which increases the body's resistance to stress normalizes the activity of the central nervous system, tones up in general, and increases energy. The success and benefits of any type of cardio training depends on proper nutrition. Only a diet with a lot of complex carbohydrates and protein will help preserve energy and normalize the functioning of all body systems. The maximum heart rate level for a particular person is calculated using the formula 220-H. During the first weeks, the indicator should not be allowed to exceed 60% of the value obtained and then 70 to 80%. An individual pulse zone is chosen depending on the goals of the load. What is the best time to do cardio? The standard duration of a workout for weight loss is 40 to 60 minutes. Fat begins to be consumed after half an hour, so you should not stop. However, cardio training after strength training should not exceed 20 to 30 minutes, and the same goes for the morning hours on an empty stomach. In both options, fat will be used as fuel since glycogen levels are lower. The regularity of workouts for weight loss is two to three times a week. The first is morning. This period is more suitable for running, walking, and cardio machines activity. The training is held on an empty stomach. After a night, on an empty stomach, fat is burned instantly, so you can devote 30 minutes to exercise. The second is the day. This time can be devoted to any kind of cardio. However, they rather strengthen the heart than contribute to weight loss. The session should last one hour. 30 to 45 minutes after a workout, you must definitely eat protein foods. An hour later, you need to consume complex carbohydrates. The third is evening. This time is also suitable for any cardio loads and doesn't differ in duration from the daytime. Whether a workout will burn fat depends on the meal before exercise. For weight loss, it is important to observe a non-food gap of 1.5 to 2 hours without foods in order not to accumulate fat at night. Fourth, morning and evening. This option is used for fat burning, and it works great. Morning and evening workouts should take 30 minutes each. The first is performed on an empty stomach, and the second at bedtime, without eating anything after it. How to do cardio for weight loss. It is worth noting that cardio training doesn't always lead to the burning of a large number of calories. Especially if the training is organized incorrectly. In addition, too intense and prolonged exercise can lead to heart wear. That is why it is important to correctly calculate your resources and draw up an activity plan. Different people have different rates of fat burning. The indicator depends, in particular, on age, degree of load, and physical condition. For good weight loss results, the training rhythm should keep the heart rate at 70-80% to 80 of the maximum. 
This pace allows you to burn about 500 to 800 kilocalories in one hour. In any case, cardio for weight loss is chosen in accordance with individual characteristics and tasks. Start training with a minimum pace and accelerate the pulse gradually, controlling its value. Running is considered an effective and popular exercise option, but such activity is not suitable for overweight people due to the high pressure on the joints and knees. Other fairly effective options include swimming and jumping rope. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.